friends welcome to this new youtube channel we call it dr amdekar teams steer we all know that steer is to guide or monitoring the direction in which we move but here we are using steer as an acronym which stands for sensitizing to think enabling excellence and rationality the question is why do we have to focus on thinking to produce excellence and rationality friends we all know that majority of us may have learned in earlier days purely by rote learning and memorizing but not by understanding what we learned and it means that we had information but not much of knowledge it is very important that we acquire knowledge obviously from the information that we gather and today the information is available at the fingertip anywhere but to understand what that information stands for what it means what is its origin how did it start why did it happen how will it continue to happen is all the understanding of that information which turns it into knowledge and then only we develop a very strong basics that will be permanently useful not only that when we do it again and again the repeated practice will make us be able to retain the knowledge and retrieve it as and when necessary friends you will all agree with me that we often know but we miss because of not thinking and thinking is so important really but unfortunately there is a demise of thinking process for varieties of reasons there are many excuses for it the misconception that the advanced technology has made us feel superior to the mundane low end clinical skills and that high end technology and advancing science makes us feel that there is no reason to think but the technology would help us to arrive at the knowledge that we wish to acquire friends that is not true at all because unless we have gathered knowledge out of information and that is only done by thinking then only selectively we could use the advancing technology to further improve upon our quality performance but not without thinking but what is most important is the medical practice is far different than many other professions and i call it a thought in action in medical practice we think and act together simultaneously not one after the other in other professions like a legal profession or the chartered accountant who collects the data information and then sits on it for a variety of long time and then give an opinion in medical practice you gather information and think at the same time to convert that information into knowledge and act also simultaneously thus the thinking process is most vital and important but unfortunately we may have lost the ability to do it often there is the lame excuse that we don't have time to think friends once we start thinking we very much know that it does not take time and well if it takes time it's worth the time because the result of thinking and acquiring knowledge is seen in the form of excellence and rationality three words in our steer sensitizing to think enabling excellence and rationality that excellence and rationality is possible only if 
you have acquired knowledge through thinking process. And we are all aware that we have been endowed by nature to be able to think. Only if we commit to thinking, it may take a little time, but as I said, it's very much worth it because that ends with excellence and rationality. Now, if that is so, then this whole YouTube episodes which will follow one after another will revolve around the same concept that every time we must think and if we think, we know the origin of the problem, how did it start, how did it progress, why did it do that and how did it do that. The answer to all these questions come only because of thinking and we thought it is very important to sensitize every doctor of every system, of every speciality and including the medical students. Well, I am aware that the entire life should be based on thinking and acting accordingly. And here is the attempt by our YouTube channel to sensitize all of us that thinking is very, very important. By good thinking process, we not only acquire knowledge, but we can go a bit beyond. And what is that bit beyond? The knowledge can be turned into wisdom. Well, I am aware that for many of us, wisdom has been elusive. However, what wisdom really means in medical practice is to do what is most appropriate for the right patient at the right time, in a right way, and to achieve the best results of excellence and rationality. Rationality means the minimum drugs and the minimum tests, but much more communication and counselling. Because while science can treat the body, but the counselling and communication, the art of medical practice, touches the mind of the patient. And wisdom lies in using appropriately the science as well as the art of medical practice. And therefore, if you go on thinking properly, you can develop not only the knowledge out of the information that you gather, maybe from the patients. Every symptom has to tell us something. Only if we can think about it, we know the origin of it and we know why nature has brought out such symptom. Same is true about the physical signs and then the same is true about ordering tests. That why do we order tests? Is the test going to be useful? At every step of medical intervention, we would use thinking as a process and we will revolve around to achieve the best excellence and rationality. Friends, Thinking should therefore go beyond information and knowledge and beyond knowledge and wisdom. But the information should not only help us to acquire knowledge to address the disease process, but we need to address the human being, a patient in whose body resides the disease. So it's not the disease alone. And in Indian situation, we also possibly address the near relatives and even sometimes far relatives. This is the crux of the whole ability to think and try to do our best. Well, I hope this concept is going to be built up by my team members one after another and every episode will revolve around this very process of thinking to achieve excellence and rationality. We have decided to upload two episodes every week on Tuesdays and Fridays and at the end of each episode we will announce the title of the next episode. The next episode will also be presented by me and the title will make you think for a while whether you have been doing it or not. And the title of the next episode will be Doctor, are you just a disease manager? or also a health promoter. I hope you join me for the next episode 
एंड हैव अ गुड डे थैंक यू